Low Cholesterol Recipes Summary, What to Eat and What Not To Hey, lighten up! Just because you are advised to eat low cholesterol foods doesn't necessarily mean you are supposed to eat veggies straight from the ground. There are actually numerous websites offering low cholesterol recipes that don't make you feel like you are eating grass. One very interesting website is that of the American Heart Association. The low cholesterol recipes are nicely presented in a cookbook layout which they call the Recipe Quick Find. To check out this site, please visit deliciousdecisions.org. This online cookbook promises not just healthy low cholesterol recipes, but delicious as well. It not only contains American foods but international dishes as well, all in low cholesterol recipes. This virtual cookbook not only provides over 200 delicious low cholesterol recipes but smart shopping tips too. A comprehensive guide in preparing low cholesterol recipes can be accessed by visiting mealsforia.com. Aside from providing the tried and tested, family favorite recipes, this site also offers recipes according to different categories. You can search for a recipe by nutrition content, by course, i.e., entree, side dish, etc., by method of cooking, by popularity, by ingredients, or even by your allergies. What makes it comprehensive is the fact that it displays a breakdown of the nutrient content in the recipes. So preparing low cholesterol recipes shouldn't be that difficult. When you switch to low cholesterol recipes, it does not mean that you can pig out on these foods. While these low cholesterol recipes help in lowering the body's cholesterol levels, they don't exactly allow you to eat more often than you usually do. Just because they claim to be effective in lowering cholesterol, doesn't suggest that they do not contain cholesterol. Some of these low cholesterol recipes still even have saturated fat content, though minimal. So before you pig out on the low cholesterol recipes you see online like the Mexican pasta salad or the beef stroganoff, remember that meal frequency can affect the cholesterol levels as well. Recent studies have found out that people who ate two large meals in one day have higher cholesterol levels than those who ate smaller portions even up to six times in one day. Another site which you might find to be of a relief to your earlier misconceptions about how low cholesterol recipes taste like is lofatweekly.com. You will find your visit to be very worthwhile because the low cholesterol recipes that are featured here are very delectable. They are the foods that we are all accustomed to eating minus the cholesterol. One recipe, the chocolate chip cookies, boasts of zero cholesterol content. There's nothing to rejoice about if your cholesterol levels are high. But there's not much to grieve about either. Low cholesterol recipes can be as tasty as those that have high cholesterol content. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.